no, you just seem to put things together all of the time, Kath, you know, one concept to another. Um, and I said, well, I use the term fizz buzz. I get a fizz buzz and it's like, oh, that connects to that and that connects to that and that connects to that. And, and he said, how do you do that? And I said, well, you know, I do this, this, this and this, and I take a nootropic. What's a nootropic? Do you think it would help me? And I said, no, not at the moment, because you drink, you don't sleep very well. You know, yep. there's all of these negative um, uh, factors in your life. Yep. So um, where was I going with that? Yes, it was, how do, how do, or how would you help in terms of guiding people towards the nootropics in terms of, so I talk in um, Dan Siegel's terms here, an integrated coherent brain, which is where we need to be before we start trying to enhance it. Yep. I think that's, that's where each person would need to be. So how would you, how would you guide somebody into using nootropics? Because anybody could rock up to your website and go, Oh, I like the look of that one. Um, you know, Eternus says you're going to, um, have your health you know you're going to live forever that's what it almost emphasizes isn't it oh eternal sure. um what what kind of guidance do you offer people and i i am asking you this purposefully because i've seen loads of i don't know what to call it probably bickering that's the word we would use in uh, the united kingdom in terms of um so you didn't tell me seven seven was too much i found that it made me you know have have palpitations and so on and somebody else would say something like well didn't you read the box and yeah no it's a it's a it's a constant challenge between uh, explaining and and giving to our community the amount of research we do and making it something that is palatable and and chunked enough that they can bite take bites off of it because we just we publish hundreds and hundreds of pages on the research and the design of our products and we go super super deep into the science which i love but it's 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 over my head for a large portion of it and it's over you know the majority of the people's heads and where mm -hmm. i try where i try to weave that balance is taking the research and the information from our doctors and our scientists and our neuroscientists all the stuff and then the research we do in the world and combining that and making it something that they can understand in a bite-sized way and then also put into practice in their life to get something out of it. Because there's very much a experiential learning version of this that you just can't tell people. Like you, you can sell it all day long. One of the challenges of our product, especially when I'm at trade shows like the one I met you at, I love... I just love meeting people and talking about our products and, and sharing our, my story and my experiences with it. And it's great. And my eyes light up and I can see their eyes light up. But as I continue, if I go too far and as I continue talking about it and, and continue telling them how great it is, I can see that I lose them at some point. Their eyes just kind of glaze over and they just stop believing me and I just, I need to stop talking. Um, and it's not because our product is, you know, the greatest thing in the world. It is. And it's phenomenal and it does a lot, but it's, it's, it's just too much information for people to take in. So on our website, if you or guys are interested, anyone can go get this for free, neurohacker.com slash guide. We have a foundational guide to neurohacking and it almost hardly talks about our product or nootropics at all. The first version didn't even have our product in there. And it just talks about all these different areas of your life um, and how they connect and interrelate to one another and things you can do to optimize them. And it just kind of gives you a real foundational level of, um, your environment, your relationships, your, your food, your, your exercise, like all these parts of your body. And it kind of just breaks these things down in a very simple way to give them an access and a foothold. And one of the things I love about biohacking and neurohacking in general is once people get a foothold or a toehold into something, into some area of their life where they get and see and experience the benefits of it, they're eyes open big and their their world opens up to what else is possible so whether this starts with your diet or whether this starts with exercise or getting a handle on your sleep um doing something to where you can personally experience like oh i feel amazing because i got good sleep last night or i feel amazing because i'm starting to work out more and i'm feeling great because my diet's in check and this just kind of opens up like oh i took responsibility and control over this part of my life i saw benefits i saw these things what else can I do now? And that then trickles into, you know, everything and all these things that are possible, red light therapies, you know, neurofeedback, nootropics, like going keto diet, like whatever the diet or the exercise plan is, 
there's no right or wrong thing for every, you know, for everyone. Like, but I encourage everyone to experiment and find something that you're interested in or passionate in and start with that. Don't feel like or try to take on everything at once, especially if you're, you know, your life's in chaos and things like that. Start small, grab one chunk of your life and work on it and, and develop good habits and healthy habits and experience that for yourself where you can say, I made this change and had positive results. Now I can take that lesson and take that learning and, and have that experience and feel good about myself and take that to other parts of your world. And you really start to build on that virtuous cycle kind of going up. And I, I see this all the time, especially at trade shows, um, like the one we went to or trade shows, there's all these different technologies and all different diets and plans and whatever. But you see this thing worked for some person and then that opened up their world to all this stuff. And I hear that all the time. They come into this trade show of like, Oh, I yeah. tried this one thing. And now I'm just, they just go down the rabbit hole and they're just like, they're, they're so far deep into yeah. paleo and biohacking and and it's like, it's just exciting for them. And it's, it's exciting because it's cool new technology and stuff, but it's really exciting because you're given ownership of your life back, of your health back, of your well-being, and you just start to feel not tired and you start to feel like you can take on the problems of the world and the problems of you know your family and the things that are on your plate. You're not in this state of overwhelm and, and just dread, but you have power and control and, and it's just, it's an amazing thing. So I, I encourage people to, you just don't, you don't have to start with nootropics. You don't have to start with anything. Just find something to start with. That's an area of your life that you want to improve and gain that foothold of this is possible and if this is possible here it's possible here and it's possible there and and just get that one thing under your belt and then go nuts and keep going and see what else you can do